Another picture-perfect afternoon of sunny skies and comfortable temperatures provided ideal racing conditions for round 6 of the 2022 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship, sanctioned by AMA Pro Racing, as the 50th anniversary season reached its halfway point. The legendary Sands of the Wick 338 provided one of the summer's most unique challenges at the MB Tractor and Amp. Equipment Southwick National, where, hello, today we are welcome to Motocross Update Channel once again. Channel that will collect various stories of the motocross industry to tell your friends. Today we're going to talk about the AMA Pro Motocross 2022 race. On this track, the lead scorer is still Chase Sexton from Honda, followed by Eli Tomic in the lead. Let's come to see how this field will be. Before going to watch, please press like and press to cheer each other up. Moto 1 The first 450 class moto of the afternoon got underway with a convincing Motosport.com hole shot by Team Honda HRC's Ken Rockin, followed by Red Bull KTM Factory Racing's Ryan Dungey and Monster Energy star Yamaha Racing's Christian Craig. As Rockin sprinted out to a quick lead of more than a second, Craig made the pass on Dungey for second while Team Honda HRC's Chase Sexton, the point leader, followed in fourth. Craig started to chip away at his deficit to Rockin and successfully made a pass for the lead a little more than five minutes into the moto. As Dungey looked to apply pressure on Rockin for second the KTM rider went down, but quickly remounted. However, he fell from third to fifth which moved Sexton up to 3rd and Tomic into 4th after running as far back as 8th. As the moto reached its halfway point Craig maintained a lead of nearly 2 seconds, but it was Tomic who started to attract the attention as the fastest rider on the track. He made an easy pass on Sexton for 3rd and put in a charge on Rockin to take control of 2nd. A little more than a second separated the Yamaha teammates of Craig and Tomic with 14 minutes to go in the moto. It took just a lap for Tomic to seize control of the lead. Behind them, Sexton got by Rockin for third. Once out front Tomic opened up an advantage of nearly four seconds on the field, while Craig and Sexton engaged in a fight for second. These two riders traded momentum for many laps, but Sexton's patience paid off in the closing minutes of the moto when he pulled the trigger on a pass and made it stick. It was clear sailing for Tomic the rest of the way as he cruised to his fourth consecutive moto win by 7.3 seconds over Sexton, with Craig in third. Dungey followed in fourth, while firepower Honda's Max Anstey rounded out the top five with a last lap pass on Rockin. Moto 2 The deciding 450 class moto began similarly to the first moto with Rockin at the head of the pack for a sweep of the Motosport.com hole shots. Craig slotted into second, while Red Bull KTM Factory Racing's Aaron Plessinger followed in third. Tomic started inside the top five, while Sexton emerged deep in the top ten. As Rockin sprinted out to an early multi-second lead, Craig and Plessinger engaged in a battle for second, from which Plessinger prevailed with the position. A battle for third then unfolded between teammates Craig and Tomic. After the two riders came together, with each avoiding a crash, Tomic reset and made the pass happen, Rockin, Plessinger and Tomic asserted themselves at the head of the field, which allowed the lead trio to open a huge gap. A showdown soon followed as the moto passed the halfway point. Tomic dropped the hammer and made the pass on Plessinger for second and didn't let up in his pursuit of Rockin. In less than a lap Tomic moved from third to first and took control of the moto with a little more than 12 minutes to go. As Tomic pulled away, Plessinger went on the attack and took second from Rockin. As Tomic checked out on the field the attention shifted to Sexton in his effort to fight his way onto the podium. The point leader showed tremendous patience from fourth and bided his time. Soon enough he was within striking distance of Rockin and successfully took control of third. He then moved to within a few bike lengths of Plessinger and with just two laps to go he made the pass for second. Tomic was in a class of his own out front and capped off a dominant afternoon with his fifth straight moto win by 10 seconds over Sexton. Plessinger earned his best moto result of the season in third. Overall Tomic's second consecutive sweep resulted in a third straight overall victory and the landmark 30th win of his 450 class career. Sexton continued his podium streak in second while Plessinger's strong second moto landed him on the overall podium for the first time this season in third. 
While Tomac gained even more ground in the championship battle, Sexton's runner-up effort allowed him to maintain his hold of the point lead. A single point now separates the riders halfway through the 12-round season. Rockin, who finished fourth is third, 41 points out of the lead. How are you? What are your thoughts on the clip? If you like it, please press like, press share, press subscribe. Please encourage each other and see you again in the next clip. Hello.